Hi, I'm Kristen and this is Ailish and we're from the ACT Rural Fire Service and we're here to discuss the changes to the new Australian Fire Danger Rating System. On the 1st of September this year, we will be launching a new system that is both simplified and nationally consistent so you can make informed decisions on days of bushfire risk. So one of the reasons we are changing is that the current system has been in place for a long time since you know the 30s and 40s and it's based on science that is 60 years old. Um, and over this period of time there's been a lot of changes and advancements in fire behaviour science, particularly around the different fuel types vegetation types that we have here in Australia. So this new system includes eight new fire behaviour models that breaks the country up broadly um, and uses those eight different um, fire behaviour models. So with the new system, not only do we have consistent naming, so the current uh, levels are moderate, high, extreme and catastrophic. And so those four same rating levels are consistent ac across Australia. We also have consistent action oriented statements with each rating. So if you are in Canberra at a high level, if you are in Western Australia at a high level, Northern Territory, wherever you are, the action oriented messaging associated with that level is consistent as well. So you always know what actions you need to take to be best prepared for that rating and that situation. Along with the simplified four ratings, we've introduced a no rating. And so the no rating will be applied to days where there is no proactive action required from the community and very minimal fire danger risk. The new system will allow emergency services to provide better prediction and more accurate advice to the community on fire danger ratings. You may have already noticed some changes to the fire danger ratings around the urban area. We are removing a few of them to make way for our new mobile LED fire danger rating signs. These signs will allow us to give more targeted and varied information around emergency warning and bushfire safety. The fixed roadside signs are also getting a facelift to come in line with the new design of the Australian Fire Danger Rating System. And so those changes can be seen over the next few weeks, but all signs will be in action at the beginning of the declared bushfire season.